Family, I cannot wait to read y'all comments on this one here today. It's some ratchetness. Stay tuned. All right, family, welcome back to I Love Me, Me, Me. So I ran across this message on uh, one of the Facebook groups that I'm in. This is Straight Ratchet. So I had to come here and make a video about this right here because seriously, y'all read the title, right? This how people get killed. All right. I'm married to a wonderful man. We have been together five years. Married to. My husband wants kids and have been trying to get me pregnant as of lately. And he has even started working on a kid's room. He has all these thoughts of being a lovely daddy. So lately he's been making appointments to see a fertility specialist. But I've been canceling the appointments and he's been getting very upset about it. <laughs> the problem isn't that I'm sterile and can't have kids. The problem is I'm a transsexual and I never told him. Yep, there's more. I love him so much and I know he loves me too. This makes me nervous and my heart aches. We are so happy together. What should I do? Do I tell him the truth or do I quietly exit out of the marriage? Okay, so really? Really? <laughs> So, I don't have nothing against transsexuals, okay? So, let me just throw that disclaimer out there. I could really care less what your sexual orientation is. What I do care about, my, my sister, okay? What I do care about is the fact that you have taken away his choice. He thought that he was getting with a woman, a God-born woman. That's what he thought he was getting. And you deceived him to the umpteenth number. And literally, this is how people get killed. Because you have taken away his choice. He thinking this whole time he is with a God-born woman. He's having sex with you and all of whatever stuff that you guys are doing. And now he wants to uh, expand on his family. But he'll never get that. You took away his choice to actually be with a transsexual. You took away his choice to father the children that he wanted with you. You never know if this brother would have stayed with you. Now, I don't know if it's a brother or not, but you know I'm saying brother with everybody. So, you never know if this brother would have stayed with you or not, but you did not give him the choice. And so now he has to think about, because what you do in the dark will surely come to light, my sister. And if and when he finds out this horrible information, this is how people get killed. Like, this is awful. This is awful. And... I don't know. Honestly, this one got me a little bit stumped because I always say ask a multitude of questions, right? I always say that. But if you never think to ask, well, were you born a woman? Were you born a man? Like that is now something we need to put on our deal breakers list. That's a question we need to add to it. Because this right here, mm -mm, this is a no go. This is a no-go situation all around. It can turn into a horrible murder. He might even want to commit suicide because all this time he's thinking that he's with a woman. And then it comes out that he's actually been sleeping with a God-born man. Sis. You in so much violation. And now, now, now you want to be a coward. Now you want to be a coward and say, should I exit quietly? quietly or should I tell him the truth you should have told him before you guys had sex before the relationship even went deep literally went deep yeah 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 literally and figuratively before he went deep in you literally and figuratively you should have had this big girl conversation no matter how you thought he was going to take it because He's in love with a woman. Because he thinks that you're a woman. A, a God-born woman. Let me say that, okay? I want to be disrespectful. He thinks that you are a God-born woman. But you're not. And again, that's okay. But you took away his choice to be okay with it. 
And now you scared. Now you on Facebook groups asking what should you do? You should have did that before you got into this long-term relationship with this dude. Y'all been together five years, now married two, and he can't have no kids. And I mean, I'm, I'm, well, he can't handle it with you. Maybe he already has some. I don't know. You know, you didn't put that in there. That's not what you were asking or seeking information from. But this right here, this is how people get killed. And I'm not an advocate for violence at all. But when you take away people's choice and then you expect them to react a certain way. This could be all but horrible. Literally, y'all both could be on the news. Him for killing you or you killing him, don't matter. And maybe him even committing suicide. It's a lot of um, psychological things that are going to go on with your husband once he finds out. Now, could he get over it? Of course he could get over it. But God going to really, really, really have to work with this brother. Really. And work with him on not killing you. I know that I keep saying that, but this, seriously, this is a mess. This is a total mess. Again, I can't wait to read y'all comments on this one right here. Like, I am literally waiting to read you guys' comments. I am, like, going to be eagerly sitting there waiting for the comments to come in because this is so juicy, but it's so ratchet. It's so horrible. It's a whole bunch of everything that you could think of that is a mess. It is one of those situations where you want to know what happens, but if it goes horrible, it's like you you still want to know, but you're like, dang, that's messed up. But but sis, you man, this is horrible. You took away old boys. You took away his choice to enjoy you like you are. And so it also makes me think that if you are a hundred percent proud to be a transsexual. You have no reason to not tell him. I mean, it's a whole a slew of other questions that are now popping up in my head. But if you are 100% secure in you being a transsexual, then you wouldn't have hid this from him. Because truth be told, some brother out there would have accepted you if you would have told him the truth. Maybe you told a few of them it didn't go so well for you. Okay, they wasn't for you. But somebody out there would have accepted you for you. He has accepted you and it's now all built on a lie. And this has, man, I'm not going to say no way because anything literally is possible. Anything is possible. But this is going to take a whole lot because, I mean, it was all built on a lie. So, again, even the little bit of trust or because the husband thinks that he can trust you. He's making these appointments. He wants to be a dad and all this other stuff. He wants to expand his family and expand it with you, not knowing that he can't. And he never will. Not in the natural sense. Yeah, you, there's adoption and all this other stuff. But, I mean, he's trying to get you pregnant. And that will never happen. Anyway, I can't wait to read y'all comments. Give me thumbs up if you like the video like this. Or hell, give me thumbs down like this. This is this is a mess. <laughs> this is a mess right here. Um, definitely subscribe to my channel, especially if this is your very first time here. Because I have a slew of topics that I am ready to release this um, entire year. And uh, let me just say, if you guys are not following me on social media, I did Vlogmas back in December and that time is coming up once again. And so I will be taking the questions on my social media. So you can follow me on my Facebook, uh, I Love Me 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 page. You can follow me on um, Twitter and on Snapchat and on what's the other one Instagram I am on all of them I will say that I don't watch Snapchat a whole lot or um, you know get on there a whole lot but I'm trying to pick up I'm trying to be more consistent in 2018 on Snapchat but all of them are I love me 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 and um, you will find all of that down in the description box below all right so make sure that you go ahead and follow me because I am going to be taking you guys questions to answer your questions questions um very soon actually i'm just going to say very soon so get ready for that i will see you in the next video deuces